y'all welcome back to my channel today we're talking about baby cues this is so important when you have a fussy baby and you just don't know what's going on so we're going to talk about that today and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel let's get started we could be everything everything anything that we see we could be This is big for me. Um, again, I am a mom of two boys. I was a stay-at-home mom for like 10 years. And one thing I love was bonding with baby. And when I tell you there is no training wheel for taking care of a baby, there is no training wheel for taking care of a baby. <laughs> so I just want to give you guys like some things to think about or watch for when you're attending to your baby. Rooting. Rooting is when a baby is like turning its head to suck on something. All right. So they may be hungry. Uh, and the next one is fussy. All right. If a baby is fussy and just uncomfortable, uh, this is an indicator that the baby could be hungry um, or they're just uncomfortable. So this is a perfect time to check their diaper. One thing that I always do when a baby is fussy is just get them naked. <laughs> Take everything off the baby because you never know if it could be like a, something poking them or it could be something itching them or it could be their diaper. And so then you could really just examine your baby. That's something that I did. Um, and it's been very helpful. And then after you take everything off the baby, okay, let's see if the baby's hungry. And most times the baby's either wet or the baby baby's either hungry. Excuse me. Um, so another one that is important is the arching of the back. So when a baby is like arching its back like this, that could be a sign of discomfort or over stimulation. You know, when we have babies, especially someone coming from a very loud, big family, my children were overstimulated when they were babies because they're resting. And so to hear all this noise, commotion and TV, it could be too much. So best advice for that, if you ever notice that a baby is overstimulated or you're just like, hey, it's too noisy in here, go to a quiet room. So you could just calm baby down, maybe nurse the baby, feed the baby and sing little lullabies in the baby's ear, just creating a soft, calm, peaceful environment. Now, I want to let you know the reason why it's important to tap into those cues when the baby is like hungry or showing some signs of discomfort is because you want to have a bond with your baby and the baby wants to have a bond with you. It also increases your confidence as being a parent, making you feel responsible that you can take care of your baby. Every baby is going to need something else that the other baby has, which is why I always say everybody's pregnancy is different. We are all different. We are not the same and therefore your baby will be different. All right, guys. So those are some cues to look for if you have a baby and you just don't understand what is going on. I hope this help you. Ah! I hope this helps you and be sure to like this video, share this video with the new mom that could use some of this advice for <laughs> how to know what's going on my baby and be sure to subscribe for my channel so i know that you're liking this content all right guys take care bye we could be everything, everything.